welcome today we are looking at circles chords and tangents so we have a question in the diagram below ABE is a tangent so we can look at the diagram so ABE is a tangent to a circle at B and DCE is a straight line DC is a straight line, AB is a tangent to the circle at point B. If angle ABD is 60, so we have ABD right here, 60. Angle BOC is 80, so we have BOC, so this angle is 80. And O is the center of the circle, so right there. Find with reasons angle BEC, so the angle B. E, C. So at this particular point. So what you're going to do is to fill in the missing angles and then automatically angle E will come. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the angles that you already given to find the missing angles. So for this particular case if the angle subtended by chord BC at the center of the circle is 80, we remember the property that states that the angle that is supposed to be subtended at the circumference by the same chord should be half the one subtended at the center. So if at the center we have 80, BC also subtends an angle at the circumference and that is 40. So here we have 40. So if we have 40 at this particular point, next we are going to use the property that says that angles in alternate segments are equal. So we have BC subtending an angle of 40 degrees at point D, which is on the circumference. Then the same BC should make angle 40 with the tangent at point B. So here should be 40 and the property there is angles in alternate segments are equal. And then applying the same property we have BD making an angle of 60 degrees with the tangent. Then the same BD subtends an angle at the circumference at point C. So again, angles in alternate segments should be equal. So if here is 60, here should also be 60. Now, at this particular point, we can get the angle here. So angles on a straight line should add up to 180 degrees. So here we need to have 120, so that 60 plus 120 is 180. So at this particular point, we can now get this angle right here. We have triangle BCE. So for BCE, the angle property of a triangle is that the angle sum of a triangle, that is the sum of the angles of a triangle, is 180. So at this particular point, we are going to have 180 minus 120 plus 40. And this should be 180 minus 160 degrees. So at point E, we have 20 degrees. That is here, if you subtract, you need to get 20 degrees. So with this, we can now give the reasons. And the reason we can give is that the angle sum of a triangle is 180 degrees. So remember that is the property that we have applied here that if you take 120 plus 40 plus x, which you do not know, that should give us 180. So we need to note one, 
180 should be equivalent to x which was the angle at e plus 120 plus 40 so this is what has led to the angle 20 and we've reasons or rather we've reasoned from this property here otherwise that's it for this question thank you for your patience until this time thank you for watching and see you in the next video Thank you.